Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get right into your reading, Libra. Now you have here the Four of Swords. For some of you guys, there may be some type of um, some type of lack of communication. Um, some type of separation or giving each other some space or some room. Uh, those of you guys that have been in a relationship, it could have been um, giving each other space more than anything is what they're saying. Now, in the past and passing, I do have the two of cups. So there was a for some of you guys, it could even be like coming out of a relationship. Um, now, what's on your mind is the three of cups. So there could have been a third party involved in the situation, as I do have the seven of swords here. The obstacle here is um the foundation so for some of you guys it could be um if this is not you this could be a situation that you're currently going through where your partner uh, has stepped out of the relationship and you're trying to figure out if you guys can work through it or not what spirit is telling you is listen to your intuition libra i feel that there's a lot of things that are still being hidden or perhaps things that you're not certain or don't know exactly what's going on behind the scenes but what they are saying here is that there is definitely a third party in this situation. So it could be that perhaps you've been feeling like something is off in the relationship or like your partner's been hiding something um, and you don't necessarily have proof. They are saying that things will start to come out in the open or will start to unfold. Now, I still, again, they are saying pay attention to your intuition. I feel that for some of you guys, you've been sensing or feeling this, but there is still almost a resistance of seeing things clearly for what they really are. Now, the the energy currently surrounding your partner is the karma card. So I feel that this is um, perhaps this is something that they've, you know, something that's within their character. Perhaps they've, you know, in previous relationships, they have cheated on their partners. Um, and there is still like some, like I said, there's doubt here. But more than anything, I feel that this is not the first time. Now, if you are currently going through this situation and your partner has cheated on you in the past, what Spirit is telling you is it's time for you to see things clearly. It's good for us to be optimistic and positive. But when it comes to relationships, especially if they've let you down in the past, forgiving them only gives them the green light to continue doing that which is hurting you, Libra. So don't put yourself in a situation where you continuously keep putting effort and energy in this relationship when they keep letting you down. You got to see things clearly. You got to open your eyes. Stop making excuses for their behavior. Stop making excuses of why they're treating you the way they're treating you. Sometimes, and, and this is something that I often, you know, hear clients say, uh, they've had a difficult life, you know, they, they've gone through difficulties and I understand why they are the way they are. No, you don't because everyone, ultimately everyone, in a, you know, in a grander scale, everyone has been hurt, everyone has been tainted, but it doesn't give us the right to go and break everyone's heart. It doesn't give us the right to uh, go and to basically put... Um, you know, other people's trust in the line and to let them down, it, it doesn't give you, um, it doesn't give you that right. So again, even if they've gone through difficulties in their life, even if they've had to struggle, even if they've known nothing but pain in all their life, um, it is ultimately our decision to choose how we want to not only treat those that we love and those that are around us, but as well, you got to learn to love yourself, Libra. Uh, this speaks to me a lot about finding that self-love within you and not settling just because you've been with them for eight years, just because you've been with them for 10 years, just because you're married and you have kids. What they're telling you here is you need to be selfish in this situation. And if this is not the first time that they've stepped out of the relationship, that's not going to change. So you need to understand that and stop making excuses for them. Now, you do have the Nine of Swords here, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of feeling like you're not in control. And the Lover's card usually indicates um, not wanting to make a decision because there's uncertainty. With the Two of Swords, uh, you're, again, uh, very tempted to forgive or very tempted to 
keep putting effort in the relationship but what they're telling you it's time for you to stand your ground libra stand your ground and know what you deserve if this is you libra the one that's doing this to your partner again are you being in the relationship because the you know you're complacent in it because you know that ultimately your partner is going to continue putting up with that is that the reason why you're there and if the answer to that is yes then it's not love and it's not fair for the person that continuously keeps giving you their unconditional love and their unconditional trust it's not fair for you to uh continue hurting them even if you if if you're doing it on a subconscious level and you tell yourself i can't help it or i can't you know um this is who i am no it's not you you need to take self-responsibility in this situation now libra if this is you the one that's dealing with this and it's your partner uh, or partners in the past that you keep choosing people that um betray you and hurt you uh it's time for you to it's like you're at crossroads and it's time for you to to have a different outcome and the only way to have a different outcome is to change um, the people that you choose to give your trust to uh, it's time for you to change perhaps even going after a, a certain type of, of person that you feel physically attracted to um, it's almost like you're multi-dating the same person just in different bodies and again this comes down to finding that self-love and believing in yourself and knowing what you bring to the table and not settling for anything less than that of half of what you're bringing for them to bring to you and offer that to you uh, to be able to find balance in that relationship okay libra so i hope you guys uh use these messages for what they are and we'll see each other soon bye